Okay, so it, uh, they said it was gonna rain and snow tonight, which really bummed me out. So I brought my winter, my, my fur coat. Yeah, 32 chinchillas died to make my coat. No. PETA people, you're safe. It's fake. I'm so glad I brought it. It was so cold out. Uh, and then, um, it was really, 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 really slow. When all the actors were out on the tractor, we went to, uh, to go out to our places, and we usually stop at the the line to pick up, you know, the chainsaws and the gasoline, and there was nobody there. So we all had to get, like, to, to hang out for, like, half an hour um, before we even started doing anything. <laughs> it was so much fun. And then uh, there were, like, maybe one tractor every half an hour, maybe, about, I think. Oh, it was so much fun. So then I asked James if I could go and, you know, hang around in the junkyard where a lot of my friends were. And he said, yeah, so, you know, I was wondering, I was wandering around, and, and uh, Baba Joe get to come out of retirement, y'all. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with that, because uh, I've been working at the freak show for so long that, that you know, the, the redneck's been ingrained in me. Um, and so, I actually had brought the uh, the lumberjack like shirt. I, it's in my car. I didn't feel like bringing it in. And so, I was so happy to get out of that dress. I was just like, I was just ripping the buttons off. Just give me, oh! Oh, it was great. Goodbye, horses. No. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then this one guy's like, hey, you want to learn how to use the grinder? And I was all happy and stuff, because he, he wanted to use the chainsaw, so he taught me how to use the grinder. And then you hold the thing at an angle, and you go, <laughs> like that. And it makes all these wonderful sparks, and it was awesome. Worst part is I have to crouch, and that's going to kill my knees. I crouch. Well, you bang on, on something with, uh, cause they, they gave me a golf club with no head on it, so I've got like a big metal stick, and then you bang on the table with the stick till the tractor comes, and you duck down, and then you pop up, and then you go, yang, 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 with a grinder, say, we don't want you in our junkyard, you ain't got nothing to do here, and then, uh, you run around and start waving things at people, and then, but, like, later on during the night, people were so drunk that they weren't scared anymore, so I just started doing it, you know what my dad says that when life gives you lemons, you find somebody who's allergic and you kill them. And uh, and uh, people thought that was funny. Especially Paul, one of the narrators. He was lying on the, the, the wagon just dying. So, other than that, it was a pretty good day. Uh, um, this is going to take forever to get this makeup off, but it's not so bad. I actually like the bloody drooping. It's, it's, it's reversed, but I have no clue where I'm going. Well, some, somewhere in my chin. Um... Oh, what else happened? I hung out with Chuck again today. The hyper guy. I just want to bottle whatever is in his bloodstream and sell it to junkies. I mean, that stuff's better than smack. Uh, and then I hung out with Ashley and stuff. And I have something in my eye and it's pissing me off. Uh, so there will be more... T t it's cat hair. I have a cat hair in my eye. I will, I will tell you guys more tomorrow.